enter into force sometime in the future. Mr. Chair. Uh, Michael Lawrence, your... Mr. Chair, um, it's a pleasure to speak to part one of this bill. I, I, I think we should remind ourselves that this is a very significant bill for New Zealand. Um, and really what we're doing, really what we're doing is simply changing the name of all the hard work that had been done by the previous national government. And Mr Chair, it's like this. If I, uh, already in this parliament uh, this evening, Mr McAnulty has said that he prefers to be called Mr McAnulty than Mr McNulty, <laughs> and um, another member, Joe Luxton, prefers to be called Joe Luxton than Joe Luckton, and the Honourable Willie Jackson, I profess that his proper name is the Honourable William Jackson, probably. <laughs> but despite, Word. despite Word. all that, yeah, I couldn't think one of you for the Honourable's leave, get away. But despite all of this, despite all of this, the first are list MPs, one is a minister. How we actually pr pronounce their name makes very diff little difference. I know it does to the member, and I respect the honourable member, uh, the list member from the Wairapa, but what I'm saying is, whether we call it the TPP or the CPTPP, in my view, view, makes very little difference to what we're doing. And in fact, the only, things, the only things that have been changed as a result of going from the TPP to the CTPP is, is the fact that some other legislation, some other legislation, Mr Chair, has meant that we've banned foreign buyers. I'll remind this House that that legislation is effective over this weekend, overseas buyers. It's ironic. That's the only thing. And it wasn't even part of this legislation. It was something that was done on the outside. You can't even find it in this legislation because it's not mentioned anymore. So I want to um, honour the various ministers, the Honourable Todd McClay, the Honourable Damien O'Connor and the Honourable David Parker for making this, um, this get to this point. But let's, and Tim, the Honourable Tim Gross before that, but let's not kid ourselves in this House tonight as we take it through uh, this reading on the first part that there's very little that has changed, other than the name. Mr Chair, I would like um, the Minister to address one issue, and it's been raised already, and that's in the, under Clause 6.2, uh, Part 1. And it says, the Act comes into a force on a date appointed by the Governor-General by order and council on the recommendation of the Minister for Trade and Export Growth. And my colleague, uh, Sir Simon O'Connor, raised earlier that if the name of that title changed, what would that mean? Right. I'm suggesting, uh, Mr Chair, that maybe the term for trade and export growth be taken out and just said the minister. Because we do not want to have to come back to this parliament or change something in the future because the title of somebody changes. So, Mr Chair, as we head into the dinner break, I think we should all congratulate us congratulate ourselves across the parliament that we have actually got to a position, despite the fact that the United States has withdrawn, to have a fantastic trade opportunity um, when six countries sign up. And I think we should also acknowledge that this is a national party bill that's been adopted by this government. They've changed the name and we're working together. But actually, in the interest of New Zealand, as we should do, in the interest of New Zealand, as we should do, we're working together to make sure that our trade is strong. Just say thank you. So, Mr Chair, absolutely, the Honourable Mark Mitchell. Just say thank Some you. thank you on the other side would be helpful. Just say thank you. Oh, would you like me to repeat your name, Mr <laughs> McAnulty? Have I got that right? The member, I'm not from Napier. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the member. Our order. Sorry to interrupt the member, but it's come time for me to leave the chair for the dinner break. The committee will resume at 7.30 p.m.